So if you're looking to buy or sell a home in Southwest Florida in 2023, you're gonna to wanna to watch this video because I'm gonna talk about five things that you didn't know about Southwest Florida. Real quick, click below, book a call with me because I'd love to help you out with all your real estate needs. You didn't know we actually have a pretty eclectic culinary scene. Um, I myself uh, got used to, when I moved down here, some of the, the Southern food and uh, South American cuisine uh, that a lot of people have brought to the area. But over the years, we definitely saw a more high-end, um, I guess the right word would be eclectic. Um, nice restaurants come in where you get in and just some of the flavor profiles of these meals are, are nuts. They'll take local uh, fish, local cuisines that we can get, and they turn it into, I mean, I hate to like, sound weird with it, but masterpieces, right? You sit there going, wow, this is delicious. What did you do? And a lot of times what I've learned, not to turn this into a foodie video, is it's, it deals with you having fresh ingredients and using the right flavor profile for something. So simple ingredients. I don't cook stuff with a lots, right? Um, I'll give you a small example. We have a local place on Matt Lachey called Blue Dog that creates mullet that is delicious. And you might be looking at me like I'm crazy going, mullet? That's bait. Not here it isn't. That's a cuisine, that's food. I actually have a recipe from the Panhandle that is knock your socks off. Simple, simple recipes, but fresh ingredients is key. So our whole area is growing with that culinary scene. We can really experience a lot of different things in an area that you probably didn't expect. There's actually also affordable home options. You might say Southwest Florida, you know, the taxes are going up, housing prices going up. You're correct, but you don't have to live on the water. You don't have to be uh, near the beach. There are definitely options for you. As, you. as you move inland, that property taxes get less and housing prices get less, depending on what you want. Um, so we have a lot more options with that. We do have a lot of condos, communities, high rises are going up. Uh, but as you get closer away from the water, houses get cheaper. It's a lot more affordable for people. Also a lot of outdoor activities to do. Um, there was a lot of places, you know, I lived in Fort Myers before I lived in Cape Coral and I would take my kids, obviously even now, but there's a lot of different places. There's even an exotic zoo where you can see lions and tigers and actually there's no bears, but you get the picture, right? Uh, there's so many things you can see that you go during feeding time and you watch them feed these animals. Um, there's actual farms where you can go feed the pigs or whatnot and you're eating in a farmhouse that's all outdoors. Um, we have museums for stuff that's really interactive for people. Obviously the outdoor getting on the water, uh, but there's a lot of places being in a small area it might not be the attraction. You know, people might not drive two hours for it, but when you live locally, there's a lot of things that you can go do um, that you'd be surprised how affordable they are and how actually fun and exciting they are. So there's actually a rich uh, culture heritage down here too. Uh, this area has a large uh, Cuban influence in Spanish cuisine. Um, it is not rare to be able to find uh, probably every, uh, I'd say anywhere from one to five square miles, you're gonna find a Cuban coffee place uh, that has, uh, well I call it that, but it's basically a pastry shop, right? They have uh, fresh appetizers that they do, some sort of food or sandwiches. Uh, but for me, it's a colada, it's a, it's a uh, espresso. Uh, but they mix it with sugar, it's delicious, and it gets you moving, and basically that's what we run on now here, is coladas. You stop by any firehouse and you're gonna see, you're gonna see a uh, espresso maker there, and uh, that's a fan favorite of a lot of places. Uh, but this is a, this area has taken over and has kind of um, influenced a lot of the foods and areas, so it's a pretty something that you can check out when you're here that you'd be surprised on. How amazing it is it? Maybe you're missing out in your area. We also have a pretty thriving business and job market going on. As the place has gotten bigger, there's a lot of big companies that have come in and obviously have given jobs for that. This is still a very uh, tourism-based area, so the service industry seems to be our biggest demand for jobs. Uh, but as it grows and it gets more dense, those jobs that you may only see in Chicago, New York, Miami, are coming here now because of the growth and the potential that's here. So I kind of just went over uh, some things maybe you didn't know about Southwest Florida. Um, if any of these interest you, definitely consider the area. But remember, if you're looking to buy your home on nine days or 90 days, do me a favor, shoot me a text, send me an email, schedule a Zoom call with me because I'd love to help you out with all your real estate needs and I can show you around town. Until next time.